Hi everyone, so today we'll be looking at the basics so of banana farming. I'm here with an agricultural specialist and he will basically walk us through what we need to know to farm bananas. Firstly, before we get into banana farming, and I mean, this is backyard farming. This isn't large scale commercial farming. I just want to ask our this what is the importance of having a backyard farm how does it contribute to sustainable development i think that if people have their own farm like a, a backyard farm then that means that one they're getting economic benefits from it instead of having to go to the market to purchase a banana you basically have your own banana you can go in your backyard pick your banana and cook <laughs> all right so now we're going to dive deep into how do we farm bananas do we do how, do, how does how does one plant a banana first? banana is one of the the traditional crops that are grown in jamaica you know it has been one of the the main income earners for many um, farmers both large and small scale nationally um, after you know sugar cane would have um, stopped or reduced um, so banana is grown right across Jamaica you have some parishes where you might find um, most of the banana production however parishes such as Portland are known for banana farming as well as St. Mary among others uh, a banana tree um, you know normally takes you know somewhere about a year uh, to to grow and oftentimes you might have uh, a banana on it um, interestingly once a banana shoots and you know utilize the word shoot just to indicate when the when the fruit um you know uh, is is produced by that plant once it shoots um it often only shoots once so thereafter you'd have to cut down um that banana tree and allow space for a new one um, another interesting fact about banana is that once you have a banana tree, uh, you know, a mature banana tree or one that is close to maturity, you tend to have uh, an offspring, yeah? So some people might call it um, the, the banana sucker, you know, that's a term that you might hear um, in certain rural areas to describe the offspring of the, uh, the the mature um, banana tree and you know it's just a matter of continuity because once it shoots it will not shoot again so persons often just cut it down and allow the new offspring to, to grow and then the cycle simply repeats itself so it's rather I'd say the banana has a very sustainable mechanism in place and as a result you can have um you know a root of banana for a very very long time you know it keeps and year after year you get the banana off it every year um and it underscores the importance of having backyard farming because you know we are trying to reduce our um you know expenditure especially as it regards to using um, a lot of that money to spend on imported goods so if we can have our backyard farming it really helps um, on a national level if you have enough people doing it but it also helps at a, a household level because you in essence would have secured um, your your daily meal so it it lends itself greatly to, to food security um, and that is very important especially 
in an uncertain situation um, that is exacerbated by climate change. So, you know, having banana trees, having a backyard farm is important at a number of different levels. And oftentimes it can give persons a sense of pride, you know, having your small backyard farming that is, um, you know, sustainable, having it, you can go and pick your banana, you can go and pick a couple of peppers, um, you know, these simple things that people normally use in their daily lives when they're um, uh, doing a meal, you can have that and, and, and utilize it. So, you know, very important to, to look along that line. So basically that summarizes how um, a banana um, you know, grows, the life cycle of the banana, as well as just the mere importance of having something like banana in your backyard gardening. How often must you water it? Bananas tend to be, um, you know, quite good in terms of uh, getting water. Some persons might water it uh, once daily, some once weekly. But it, it depends on where you are. Some areas, for example, Portland, that would get more uh, rainfall, uh, you know, you wouldn't require to be watering it um, daily, if ever, because, you know, you're getting a constant supply of rainfall. Whereas in other areas um, that is drier, say in the St. Thomas region, um, you might want to, to, to keep the roots of your banana tree um, moist because they the roots of the banana they don't go very deep yeah so they're not very um, deep rooted plants and they also help in terms of their um, their leaves the way in which a banana grow it helps to protect um, its roots because the leaves tend to spread and create a shadow um, in the root area so you don't necessarily need to be always watering it. I'd say you can check on it two to three times per week just to ensure that the, the area around the root is moist enough and that works perfectly.